Oh, hey y'all, how's it going? Fatty here. And today I am gonna show you guys how to get faster and smoother FPS. So the very first thing that we are gonna do here is going into our settings. And uh, what you wanna do is, uh, even if you don't have the greatest graphics card, just go with your presets for high, cause you want that resolution, resolution scale to kinda go up as high as you can. If you can get it to 100, great. 80 will be fine for most like moderate PCs. Then pretty much everything else you wanna make sure is set to high. And you can even go low on certain things, such as textures if you need to go low little bit lower that's one that's fine um, post processing I leave on epic it just seems to make my game smoother personally foliage quality like that I uh, tend to go a little bit more on the medium side then other things you can also do to help just kind of make it run a little bit smoother is make sure you take rid of that mo motion blur even if you have a good PC it's just gonna like make it look a little worse so just taking that off immediately is gonna make it smoother and you can tell if these effects are really helping out as much as you hope um, from then, any of these foliage ones, I just turn down as low as you can. It just makes it just not having to be loading as much stuff with how much foliage they actually put in Arc Ascended Evolved or uh, <laughs> Arc Ascend, wait, uh, Arc Survival Ascended. There you go. It just makes it a lot harder for there. So I just take those and turn them down low from that point. Um, after that, you just want to kind of go through the rest of the things up here. So RTX. It depends on your graphics card, what you have going on. I always choose balance. So if you have a NVIDIA card like me, that's what I go. I'm sure the other ones are going to be very similar to that as well. Um, under UI, this is just all going to be personal preference stuff. And none of the, the effects in here are really going to change anything um, on this side of smoothness for you guys. Uh, but we are going to go over to camera and there's a couple of things in here that are really going to make a big difference as well as stuff you're going to enter into your command bar. Um, so when you come in here, you want to make sure you take off your camera bob. Again, any extra motion that you're making the game have to process is just going to make it a little bit worse. I like to increase the field of view. That's not going to make your game run any smoother. You're actually going to have to be loading a little bit more. So whatever your camera POV, I would just leave that alone. I like mine at 80. So if you can, if you can handle it, go to 80. Don't go any lower to than 50, which is the, the default on that one. Then from there, what we're going to want to do is actually just save all the changes and then go back into the core game. Then from here, you're going to want to bring up your command bar uh, the same way you would change your gamma in arc previously. And then I'm going to put all of this down in the description, which you want to enter. But when you do, it looks like this. It's a lot more crisp, a little bit more clear, but you can see it still looks like arc. It's not a crazy effect. Um, a lot of people are calling this kind of an I and I because you can change the things as you would in an I and I in this method, but it is uh, very different than kind of an I and I these settings personally. But uh, just going over them, it's a volumetric cloud equals zero, um, volumetric fog equals zero, the water single layer reflection equals zero, and then the grass is zero. Now it doesn't completely remove grass as you can see in front of me. There's still grass, but it just takes it down a little bit. Just makes everything run smoother. So if you have a hard time running Arc, these fixes should really help you out. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm going to be posting a lot of tutorials in the next few days about Arc Survival Ascended. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Let me know if there's anything you guys will need to know in the comments down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.